welcome back once again in this part we will add our update alert dialog design and we will connect it so we need to update our data in our previous part we retrieve all this data and we set to our recycler view now we need to update our data and delete our data so we need to add this option so for doing this first we need to create a new layout resource file and inside our file name we can call it update data item so for update our data we need to add same layout that we use for our insert data so we can simply copy this layout and paste it here so if we open our custom layout for insert data so we need this layout so we can simply copy this full layout so minimize this one and copy this one because we need same layout so we don't need to write it once again so copy this layout and paste it here first remove this constant layout and add it linear layout and in here we need to add orientation vertical so here is our layout and we can see same layout but for update item uh, instead of and we need this same thing and we can use same thing but for maybe for button we need to change it so instead of save we can call update so this button is for button cancel so i think we don't need to change this cancel but we can call it uh yes we need to change it to cancel to delete and for id we can call it button delete button update and delete okay and for this button we can call it instead of save we can call it update and change this id name to button update i just added and if you don't need to change you can't you don't need to do this so we need same layout and i just copy this layout and add it and just change this text color text for our button so when user will click our data item this this one will be pop up and we will see two button the one is delete and one is update if we want to delete then this delete button will work and if you want to update this update button will work now in here we need to add so in here we need to add update edit text so we need to define this one globally so private edit text edit amount private edit text so first we are working here for our income fragment so open your income fragment and do this so private edit text edit type and private edit text edit note and now this we need for button for update and delay so private button button update private button and this button is going to be for button delete okay now now inside our now 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 we need to create a new method so we can call it private void update data item and inside this method we can work for our all this required field so edit amount is equal to find view by id and before that we need to add a alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder is going to be my dialog we can call it my dialog is equal to new alert dialog 
and get activity because we are working in fragment now layout inflator inflator is equal to layout inflator dot from and this get activity and view my view is equal to inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot and our layout name was update out of the name and name was update data item and i think and second parameter is null and i think we need to clean our project so now done now this my dialog dot set view we need to set our view and this view is going to be our my view now we need to connect our all this edit tag so edit amount my view dot find view by id r dot id dot our id name was amount edit make sure that we had the same name same id name and id is amount edit okay now edit type is equal to my dialog my view dot find view by id r dot id dot edit type type edit and edit not is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot not edit okay now we need to add our button and before that okay first add button update is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot button update and for button delete is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot button delete and now this button update dot set on click listener new on click listener and for button delete dot set on click listener new on click listener and now we need to add another alert dialog alert dialog dialog is equal to my dialog dot create and now we can add set cancelable and we can also dismiss our dialog so when we will click this button dialog and we need to dismiss our so we need to dismiss our dialog so dialog dot dismiss and when we will click our update button we also need to dismiss our button update and after that we need to add we need to show our dialog so we can call it we can add dialog dot show now run this application so here is our data now we can't see and the reason is that we did not add set on click listener and we did not call our method so open up your honest start method and inside our honest start method we need to add view holder dot our my view dot set on click listener new on click listener and in here we need to call our this alert dialog this update method name 
we can call it update data item so now run this application so here is our application hopefully this time it will work so now click any of the any of this item so now we can see our alert dialog now if you click the delete button our dialog is dismissed if we click this outside of this dialog our dialog is dismissed so we successfully added our alert dialog and in our next part we will continue it to working and we can change this color to i think this color this color and this color that will be our input field cursor icon color so that's it